It's the beginning of the week at Ochakondo Primary School in the north of Namibia. The school principal, Jeanetta Fermark, takes morning assembly. We don't teach you things here to keep you busy. We teach you things to prepare you for life outside the classroom, after school. Before school starts, they sing for those pupils who celebrate their birthday over the coming week. More than 250 boys and girls, aged 6 to 15 years, are taught at the private Ochakondo Primary School. Many come from the farms of the local Kaneni region. The majority come from a disadvantaged background. The curriculum of the school complies with the standards set by the Ministry of Education. When the pupils have completed their primary education in Ochakondo, they're qualified for secondary school and hopefully later for an apprenticeship or a good job. School subjects include languages, mathematics and social studies. The teachers are employed by the Ministry of Education. All this aside, something about Ochakondo is different. This difference begins with the architecture. The plan and style of the buildings is based on the rural, kraal-like structure of the villages from which the children come. During the school term, the children are accommodated in four separate hostels, each built around its own courtyard, thus providing the children with both shelter and privacy. The school and hostel buildings were built with the financial support of German and English donors. The Hans Seidel Foundation made a great contribution as did many NGOs, non-governmental organisations. And still today, there are a number of individuals fundraising for Ochakondo. With a bed and a cupboard of their own, Ochakondo offers the children a lifestyle they may not be accustomed to at home. For most of them, not even the warm meal cooked daily by the kitchen staff is taken for granted. Once a week, there is an extra apple for each child and on weekends they're even served dessert. The Ochikondo School Village is a result of the initiative of two people. Since 1989, both Gillian and Rainer Stommel have been the driving force behind the creation of this farm school. With Ochakondo, they fulfilled a common dream which had been with them since the end of the 1960s. Since then, Gillian, who was born and bred in England, has worked tirelessly for the well-being of the children. For the Ochakondo children, she creates a lifestyle which combines their own African traditions with the values of an English boarding school. success.
Almost every form of pupil continues with secondary education. While Gillian takes care of the day-to-day -day running of the hostel, as well as the school and farm finances, Reiner, today almost 80, manages the farm and organises practical training for the boys and girls in the farm workshops. Before meeting Gillian, Reiner Stommel had been a Catholic missionary and built churches in Namibia. Back in 1970, Reiner Stommel left the order, became a farmer and raised a family with Gillian. To this day, he has remained true to his ideals. I would say, I am for the most part full of ideas. Ideas which I simply cannot clear from my mind. And I allow these visions to influence my thoughts and my actions. So I am an architect as well as a builder. For example, I've designed the school village and many other things. I really enjoy doing it. Yet I'm also very good with my hands and I have a way with children and staff. Not only are mathematics and geography part of the school curriculum at Ochocondo, but boys and girls are also trained in a wide variety of practical skills by Reiner and his farm workers. Can see. Practical training is a great value for Namibian children. Here, for example, German teachers on holiday show learners how to cultivate onions and other vegetables. In this way, the children acquire hands-on experience for future self-sufficiency. They can apply this knowledge to a variety of jobs in the local farmlands. A large vegetable garden also belongs to the school and offers an opportunity to learners to become familiar with agriculture. An added bonus, the produce can be used directly in the school kitchen. This also is part of everyday life at Ochocondo. There is a large variety of game on the farm which not only provides the meat for Ochocondo school and farm, but also for the nearby mission station St Michael's. Four hundred children attend the St Michael's primary school and are also accommodated in the hostel. Both the mission, as well as most of the school buildings, were built by Reiner Stommel in the 1950s. This is where his time as a missionary began in southwest Africa, the future Namibia. St Michael's Primary School relies to a large extent on the perseverance and endurance of Reiner and later the Stommel couple. It's mainly due to them that children are still educated here today. Due to the illness of the father at St Michael's and the lack of a suitable successor at the beginning of the 1990s, the Catholic Church asked the former brother to manage the St Michael's mission station again. Reiner and Gillian Stommel agreed to coordinate and assist St Michael's for five years in addition to their commitment to Ochocondo. Today, 15 years later, they're still responsible for St Michael's. At St Michael's, a timetable also needs to be arranged for the 400 children. The school's finances must be controlled and daily classes must be scheduled alongside afternoon activities. Sports and drama lessons are also part of the repertoire of education at St Michael's. Reiner and Gillian Stommel work closely together with the Benedictine sisters at St Michael's. The history of Reiner and Gillian Stommel is closely entwined with St Michael's. It was here that she came to visit the Catholic brother for the first time, and it was here that they fell in love with each other. Back then, St Michael's consisted of only a small chapel. It's still being used by the sisters of St Michael's today. The church at St Michael's was designed by Reiner Stommel in the 1960s. Just as this house of worship was constructed by Reiner and his workers, 
so too nearly all the buildings here carry the signature of the former missionary.